Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about the strengths and weaknesses of using range in statistics. Now, the formula for range is a straightforward one, so that's in and of itself is a strength. What you're doing simply is you're taking the highest value and you're subtracting by the lowest value. So a primary strength is the is that the formula is going to be pretty straightforward, and that gives you an idea also as to how spread out your values are. Now, that's, those two are some examples of strengths. Now, in terms of weakness, the range doesn't, may not, depending on what your data values are, may not give you a true idea as to how spread out or close the data is. So here's an illustration. Suppose you have 1, 5, 5, 6, six, seven, and then let's just say a hundred. Now the range here is 100 minus one, the highest minus lowest, which is going to be 99. So it tells you here on the surface that the data points are pretty spread out. They're 99 units between the lowest and highest. But what it doesn't tell you, and here's a weakness of the range, is that the range won't tell you that a majority five out of seven data points are very, very close together. So when it comes to the range, it only gives you the, the absolute spread out, highest minus lowest, but it doesn't really give you a closer picture as to how closely perhaps the data points uh, can be close together. So some strengths are the formula is pretty easy to apply. It gives you how spread out the values are, but some weaknesses are it may not tell you, depending on your set of data points, how closely your points can be. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that hopefully will address the strengths and weaknesses of range in statistics.